Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. Hello guys. I have uh, milk tetra pack milk here but there are some milk left over dried inside of this carton of this tetra pack I mix up with water and it's still homogeneous color guys I fill up with water so this is we're going to use for our kids guys so if you buy use or kids you have to transfer in a bigger pot I have this orchids as you see guys it's beautiful but this needs to have a big space so I bought a beautiful pot blue color so it's like an Asian Pacific color blue so now I'm going to put here this liquid homogeneous water and milk as you see guys i'm pouring so now i will put this pad because we avoided not to uh not to get with the stem of the orchids you have to avoid the stem to to get wet so will not be damaged it's rubbing guys i did it to my other orchids i have many orchids already but last time i made a lot of research and then i found out that this one is the best treatment for the orchids when i bought these orchids it's a lot of mousse bacteria on the on the roots it still have a little bit but it's ah oh, it's drying it's gone guys this the this one have a lot of mousse bacteria so guys we're going to put this one let me check guys check it out guys so we will add water later on to fill up so we have to carefully to remove this and you must see you must see it guys carefully to remove it see guys now they become healthy roots wow beautiful now and the bacteria is gone so huh I have some uh, cuckoos coconut bonot I forgot <laughs> I forgot in English coconut bonot guys I still have here so because that is the orchids that I brought from Philippines and oh you must stand alone uh -huh. So guys, I have some tablets of coconut husk, husk guys, coconut husk, not bunot. In Tagalog, it's bunot guys. So, now I will add this one. So the roots will be, will have a continuous, simultaneous wetness natural wetness from the coconut hash this one it's a tablet but when you put 
water it will expand so huh I will put randomly some space don't have let me show you oh. possible guys uh-huh like that so it's on the edge so now I will continue to work it remove all this canvas around the coconut has really guys it's effective that's why I asked my husband to buy again the orchids because I know already that creeks so and also guys next time I will show you my other trick how to maintain the bloom of our orchids so to all the Filipinos there out there to na to na this is the secret to malupit. So I have to move this slowly because the fiber is fly away. I think I need more. I want to finish this task then later on I will add a bit more of coconut husk because this one is a, a lot of time to to expand the texture of the coconut husk have to do this like that it's a beautiful level one more more so we have to soak this like around one hour But of course I will not show you the full one hour or else you get boring I think you get boring already but you have to look at it guys you have to watch it see beautiful so now because it's not level on the it's not level on the soil, the fiber that I put, so I add more water on the container. One moment, guys. So I need more items to elevate. More items to elevate. You see? You see? I have some garbages one moment so we don't add on the pack but we have to add on the container guys it's much it's much
must go there inside the pub. You must not give uh, water from the faucet direct. You must have to add milk or garlic. As you see guys, as you see guys, the homogeneous of water and milk, it's there. Now the, the coconut has is absorbing the water. I will show you guys these roots. You see the roots still have a little bit white. That damages that it damages the roots but before it's it was a lot then i applied this procedure then it was lessened and the bacteria is gone because the milk is antibacterial so guys i hope you like this video please like and share my video thank you for watching guys Bye-bye for now.